Alright guys, welcome back to my channel. What you're seeing in front of you, I'm getting ready to make some macaroni salad. But, I'm not using macaroni noodles. I am going to be using the rotini noodles instead of the elbow macaroni. So what I'm going to do, I put my eggs on. I have my water waiting to uh, come to a boil. Put my salt and my olive oil in my water. So when this get to boiling, I can put my noodles in here. And then I have my tuna fish that I'm going to use here. And we're gonna be, I'm a, while everything is boiling, I'm going to cut up my uh, green pepper, my red onion, celery, and some garlic. So. That's what I'm gonna be doing right now. So I'm gonna wait until I get everything together. And when I get everything together, I will come back, show you guys how I put all of this together and stay tuned. All right, guys, next step. I already got everything cut up. As you can see, it's all right in front of you. I have my noodles already in my bowl. I have my three cans of tuna, my garlic, my green peppers, my eggs, celery, onion, and red pepper here. Cut it all up. And for our wet ingredients, we're going to have our mustard, honey mustard, Miracle Whip. I love Miracle Whip in uh, salad. That's what I was raised on. Paprika, lemon pepper, sea salt, and black pepper. That is what we're gonna be using to mix all this goodness together. So, let's get started. Stay tuned. All right, guys. We're going to start mixing this uh, macaroni salad. Yep, yep, yep. So, first thing I'm going to do is put in my tuna fish. Now, this is the tuna fish I prefer uh, over the other tuna fish, but this I'm using what I have in my house. I love the albacore tuna. That is my choice of tuna. Yes, I love it. And first of all, let me say, I give an honor to God who is the head of my life. Then how are you guys doing out there in YouTube land? Let me know how you're doing. Leave a comment. And let me know how you guys been doing out there. I like to stay in touch with you guys. All right, got all my tuna in there. I got my gloves on because I will be going in here uh, with my hands very shortly. Now, I'm using raw garlic, and this, this is something a lot of people probably don't put in their salads, but I love raw garlic. I really do. Uh, it's very healthy for you. Sometimes I just take a clove of garlic, garlic and just eat it in the morning time. Yes, I do. All right. Next, we're going to take a little bit of our green pepper. I'm not going to use all of this, but then I don't know. Like I said, let's, let's see what happens. All right, set that to the side. I'm going to dump all my eggs in here. So that's, I'm, I'm going to do that regardless right there. So I, like I said, I hope all you guys been doing all right out there. Hope everything been going well for you guys. Me, myself, I've been doing fine. I can't complain, and complaining won't help anyways. No, it won't. So why do it? Put some red onion in here. And I'm going to go with some celery for some crunch here. Oh, yes. This will last me for a minute. And plus, I'm giving half to uh, my daughter here. So that's why I'm making such a big bowl. She loves this stuff when I make it. <laughs> yes, she do. That looks beautiful already, and we don't even have the wet ingredients in here at all. So, yeah, guys. I've been doing all right. Can't complain. God has really been blessing my life. Cannot complain about nothing. Like I say, put a comment down. How you guys been doing, really? How you guys really been doing out there? 
So I'm gonna take that spoon out of there, just set that to the side. We're going here, going in with some lemon pepper right here. Just a little lemon pepper. What I usually use is a fresh lemon and squeeze some lemon in here because of uh, the tuna fish. I believe all fish deserve uh, lemon. We're just gonna go with a little bit of salt for right now because uh, if you put too much salt in it, you can mess it up. So we're gonna get some black pepper ground up in here. I like this black pepper right here. This just has a different taste to me. Yes, yes, yes. Put a little, put a little bit more in here. Like so. All right, I think that would do it, but we will see. And we're going to put our French honey mustard in here. That should be open. And we don't want but a little bit of that. Now, what I may do, because that has a yellow taste to it, I'm going to go in with some uh, yellow mustard right here. All right. So that right there. And now we're going to put just a little bit of paprika to mix around. And our salad. Because I also use that paprika to top it with. Now, I'm going to use this. Go in with our Miracle Whip. I usually use uh, Miracle Whip and uh, mayo. But like I said, I'm using what I have in my house. Didn't want to go to the store. Or... I would use that um, sandwich spread. Now, that's a good thing to use that sandwich spread. Sandwich spread. And I just mix that all up. I'm going to taste it. Probably put a little uh, tad bit of sugar in here. Look like we're going to need some more miracle milk. See, yes, I would do half male and half Miracle Whip. But just with the Miracle Whip, hey, that's fine too. Just try to fold this in like so. Yeah, guys, you're probably wondering. Yeah, she's doing a little everything on our channel. Yes, I am. I'm just going to be honest with you guys. I'm doing a little bit of everything. Because, hey, after I thought about it, why in the world should I go start this channel, this channel, and this channel when I already have a channel? I could just do everything uh, what I want to do on this channel. I know it's not the protocol, but hey, I'm just being me. And if a person can't accept me for just doing me, I don't know what to tell you. Because I don't think I should have make all these different channels and I already have one. So that's why you see me doing different things on this channel. Makeup, uh, cooking, DIYs. I do a little bit of everything. Hey, that's why I put lifestyle at the end of my uh, channel. Because basically, you're going to get a little bit of everything. You know, I may blog some days. And I may, you know, hey, no telling what I may do. I just, hey, do me. Not bothering nobody, just doing me, being me. And uh, that's how I am. Yeah, I was thinking about making it with the macaroni. But I said, you know what? I've been making it with the macaroni for a long time, so I wanted to switch it up with the uh, rotini noodles. Let me get a fork here, and I want to take, well, yeah, I want to taste this. Just taste it and see what I what else I need in here. So I'm gonna give this a taste, guys. Mm mm mm. Mm mm mm. Oh my goodness. That is ooh, that's good. 
I don't even need no sugar in this, but the only thing I need some more, I need a little more salt and a little more pepper here. Oh yes, so we're gonna get these two things in here. I thought I was going in with my hands because that's what I normally do. That's why I put on gloves, but I can see how. I'm seeing I don't have to. That's pretty good. Mm-hmm. But yeah, guys, that's why you see me doing a, a little bit of everything on my channel. Mm-hmm. I just do a little bit. Just do a little bit of everything, hey. I am going to start back, like I said, making my makeup videos. I just haven't got my room together yet, but I'm getting there. Do a little bit every day. All right, that looks like enough pepper to me. We're going to go on here and put the rest of this miracle whip in here. Ooh. Lord have mercy. Okay, guys. Sorry about that. I don't know how long that been. But we're going to put the rest of this Miracle Whip in here. And we're going to get this stirred up. Alrighty. Get this stirred up in here. Stay tuned, guys, because I'm going to have to put my uh, phone on charge. So stay tuned. I'll be right back with you guys in a flash. Alright guys, sorry about that. I had to get my phone charged up. Oh goodness. I'm going to make sure y'all can see that because I'm using the light up under my stove here. So, But yeah, let me stir this in here. Now what I usually do here, because this, this Miracle Whip is going to get soaked up in this. These noodles is going to soak this Miracle Whip up. I might even put a little bit more mustard in here too, but uh, it's gonna get it's gonna get soaked up. So what I generally do when I set it in the refrigerator, put that in there, and set it in there overnight. What happens is the next day I remixes it because of uh, the Miracle Whip. It eats it up. So I usually remix it with some extra mayo and Miracle Whip. I would remix it. And that puppy, oh my goodness. Oh yeah, so here we go right here. We're just gonna finish stirring this. And I'm gonna get it on a plate and plate it for you guys and let you see how it looks because hey, it already tastes good. I gotta taste it one more time, guys. Mm -mm -mm. I'm going to get a little piece of everything to tune in. Oh, yeah. That's a good bite right there. Mm-mm-mm. Oh, they say back in the day, Lord, have mercy. That's good. Oh, man. this is, You can eat this with crackers. I love it with crackers and stuff. So, there we have it showed you guys how I made this is how I make my tuna salad and her if you want to try the recipe I'll be more than grateful thank you thank you thank you if you do hope you do oh yeah nothing wrong with it so what I'm gonna do is put a little paprika just garnish it like that. Sometimes we'd take one egg, but I didn't have an egg cut up. And I would we would cut an egg, just slice it, and lay it on top. That's how we used to do back in the day. Oh, yeah. All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. And keep your head up. Keep the faith. Like I always say. And I will see you and catch up with you guys in my next video. Take care, guys, out there, and be safe. Bye-bye.